Hello, hello everybody. Today I was going to finish this earring project because I ran into them and they were uh, all like hanging around for a while. I kept putting them off and now I'm about to finish them. So what I need for that is uh, like an even body and a jump prints. Jump prints are like this. What I'm gonna do is I need to find out where is my front and where is my back. And I'm going like this. That should be a front. That should be front yeah that should be front and you know where's the front you hang on the earring like this um i previously cut them out of the unused motherboard and um, it was a little sharp on the edges so i put the resin uh, all over it and um Resin made it smoother. That's all like uh, now wearable because it will not hurt you. Or if you like forget to take it out of your ear, uh, ears and uh, you know, you sleep in it, it's not that sharp on the edges. But it's as good as, uh, it's just a resin coating. I think it turns out great. I'd be happy if somebody would give me that earring as a present but of course it's gonna be a pair so I'm just gonna hand them here just to see how it's gonna hang on the ear well I think it's hanging on the right side but it should be any side should be good so grabbing the next one I also have this copper color what I do I don't think copper would do because copper is a little like for the other style I make and this style should be, I think it should be silver style, really nice silver. Oh, of course it's not silver per se, it's just a, a imitation of silver. And which one is this pair? I think it's this one. This one is their pair. Get rid of any unwanted residue over resin. Resin residue makes sense. So I still don't know if I should sell it because it's kind of dangerous for, I don't know how it's gonna work as people, I wear them and I never hurt myself, especially if it's a special coding, but not sure how the other people would do, you know, and if they blame me later on for hurting themselves, what, how I gonna, how I gonna protect myself? So I don't know. I would love to wear that. It's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous and stylish, and it's tech kind, and uh, the, like a modern kind, modern, modern kind. And uh, you can't buy them. It's very rare. Uh, maybe on eBay or on Etsy, whoever makes them, like by hand, like I do. But uh, if somebody wants to buy them, of course, I wouldn't mind. But again, I'm not responsible for if people by accident hurt themselves. That's what I'm saying. And this one should be probably lift up a little bit. Yeah, like this. Oh, usually I get the like a round surface and get them around it that it would be smoother oh i think it's not right no i think that should be that should be the front side yeah unless it's the left one well they all pretty much uh, they come out at the same the same kind of um the same side i think and here's a perfect, perfect pair of the 
high tech. Wow. High tech earrings. How cool, how cool. I might redo the last one. Oh, I want to wear that tonight for out. Oh my gosh, I love them. How gorgeous, how gorgeous. Still not sure how that's hanging. It's hanging on the right side. That's, oh, it's hanging on the left. Because I don't want that. It's definitely the back. So I don't want it to be hanging on the right side. Okay. So that should be left earring. And that should be the right one. I think it's my know-how. <laughs> because I was having this motherboard laying around. I didn't know what to do with that. What to craft with that. So now I'm pretty happy with that. And I have a few more. So that's the long one, longer ones. That's the longer ones. And now we're gonna have the shorter ones. Okay, the shorter ones is this. And these shorter ones. These are the shorter ones. Maybe first I should get this uh, round up round them up on the pan I don't know I have so many new house and I just don't you know I never uh, go to uh, any patients um, patents how you call it, copyrights and one time in 2003 I think I created those luminescence neon uh, uh, laces and a few years later, I noticed that they came out, uh, you know, people start producing them. I know ideas are everywhere in the, you know, in the space and everybody could get this idea. But I was hanging around telling people, you know, that's, that's colorful neon laces, shoe, shoe laces, if I say it correct, shoe laces. And you should, you know, start doing, making them, produce them. They are going to be very popular. Sure enough, they start getting popular. I don't know, maybe 10 years past or something, they start getting popular. So I'm usually full of ideas. That's the thing. I never, you know, sell them out. But I'm sure we'll get more. It's, it's not a matter of my brain always works like that. I, I do what I do and... I always come up with something new and if people like it so let them have it it's great I, I will appreciate that you know the same with this earrings if you have motherboard laying around just get that and make yourself a beautiful high-tech earrings oh my gosh I can also modify them with the uh, putting the rhinestones on them. Oh my gosh, it would be so awesome. Look at that beauty. I don't know where I'm showing again. Okay, the f look at that. Oh my gosh, so pretty with the resin. It's all s shimmering. Oh my gosh, I didn't know it's gonna come out that great. Okay, perfect, perfect. It's all shimmering and so like really beautiful. Great, working out perfect. No wonder, no wonder. Sometimes I, I get the idea and I can't even sleep. I get this, I start thinking how to produce it correctly, that it would do exactly what I wanted to do and it would come out exactly how I wanted to. And then I get more ideas, more ideas towards the same project and, you know, voila, looks so perfect. For example, first I thought I was just going to cut them without the resin part. And then I was like, what if people start hurting themselves? Because they're pretty sharp, right? And then, you know, they smooth, they cut smooth stuff. It's all this, oh my gosh, that's amazing. So I got myself two pairs now, 
here oh maybe not myself myself i have this uh, friend of mine debbie uh she she is uh she wor she is working in a nearby store don't want to say where hey debbie if you're watching it and um i would give her one pair for sure because she is collecting all kinds of ears i mean earrings and uh, she will definitely appreciate something new and high tech and her kind of you know creative and um that's where i'm heading and then present her these ones whatever she like the best like a square one or like a long part long ones and um you know, if she likes it, I will know that it's good. Well, I like it. I like it. Okay, this one I rounded up with the pen. Pen works, I mean pencil. No, it's pen. Pen works perfect because it does have all these grooves where you could, like, you know, place your earring body and kind of round it up. And then take it out. I'm so excited. So excited about my earrings. Okay, where's the last one? I have a strong wind outside. Okay, that one is... Uh, okay, that one is definitely the front and that's the back. Uh, the front is more shimmery and the front has more details. Whatever is cheap in there or soldering parts, soldering part, parts on it. Really wonderful, wonderful, wonderful project. Oh my gosh, I love that. I love that. High tech stuff. Look at that, look at that. Look at that high tech earring. Oh, I love that. Uh, I don't know how to praise myself. That's gorgeous. And that's all free. It's just the, the third pair. And the last but not least, it's this one. It's a tiny one. Because this one I couldn't get the I couldn't get that hole going with the or maybe I can. Let me see. It's Tim Holtz. Um Tim Holtz. Uh, patent he created this tool it's really nice tool maybe he was just you know imitating somebody's tool but anyways i need to take this out because this heavy metal it's not gonna do i couldn't make a hole with that and it's already on a resin so i couldn't get the hole out let me get them hole scissors Okay, I couldn't find my Tim Hall scissors. But anyways, if I would be able to make a hole in it, that would be my third pair. But since I already put it on the resin, I can't cut it out unless I do really like an elbow grease. If I put, it, put an elbow grease to it, but no, it's not going to work. So I would have to get this earring body out of here round it up again right here oops so it's nice now and round get this jump cream which i'm running out i didn't make that many earrings but over a year somehow i get it low and low and low Okay, here it will be challenging to see where is the front, where is the back, because it's so tiny. I guess this is the front, or this one. Yeah, this one. It doesn't matter that it's so tiny, it's just the color. Okay, that's the hole, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, there should be a hole. There should be a hole. Oopsie. Oopsies. Oopsies,
Oops. I already got it. Where did it go? Okay. So then I get this. I get this part. I get this part and see how it's hanging. Okay, it's hanging. Hanging down fine. And then I get this. The other, the last one would be a little bit asymmetrical. Okay, works out fine. So the last pair will be asymmetrical. That will be like this, but still perfect. Wow, that's great. Wow, I think I'm gonna put it on eBay and get some disclaimer going that you know if somebody hurt themselves that's not my problem but i did everything i could uh with the you know edges being off uh, with the resin that nobody would just do it by accident yes it's so smooth and all good well, hopefully nobody hurts themselves that's the goal okay thank you so much for watching that's it for my earrings project have a great day Bye-bye.